What's up, YouTube, and what you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to a Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news video. Today, day one of the 2017's Pokemon World Championships, uh, we got our first trailer for the upcoming games, and there's there's some stuff in here. There's nothing super groundbreaking, but enough that I wanted to get in and do a news video update uh, for anyone that wanted to check it out. So. <clears throat> Uh, we're just gonna be going through screenshots. I'm not gonna be playing the trailer because Nintendo will be after me And I'm just I just don't want to deal with that um, <clears throat> But so we're gonna take a look at the screenshots that I thought were important, which is quite a bunch of them I think I have like 20 images here to look at but uh, first you can see just Nice and basic our logos here. So nothing too much there now on the very next thing. They do say welcome to a new adventure so uh, and I apologize if the webcam is in the way. Again, I'm not going to be showing the trailers. I would invite you to go look at them. They're on Pokemon's official website. Uh, we're going to be looking at screenshots from both the, uh, the one released for North America and the one released in Japan. Because for some reason, they always give just a little bit more to Japan. Uh, it's it's a bit of a slower pace trailer. I don't know why. So we can see just a couple extra things in that one. But it is a new adventure now in the past I thought they had said that this was just going to be a retelling of the same story that we already know so This is a this could be a little interesting, but nothing too much. So the first thing of note is The new trainer models. So there are new trainer models that they're giving as in all games uh, and These are the high quality images of them. And then of course we have diversity um, So you already know I'm gonna be picking this one way over here changing up my hair hair color get it black Changing the hat. I don't really like the hat that these guys are wearing, but uh, we'll change it up. Maybe get a little backwards hat. Who knows? Who knows? But, you know, they're looking fresh. They're looking fresh. And in the Japanese version, it showed a whole bunch of different angles and stuff. And pretty much for North America, this was all we were given. So <laughs> moving on quickly, we have starter choices, which is no different. Um, they did confirm this. I know there were people saying maybe there's going to be something different. Uh, I, I doubt it. I, I highly doubt that. Uh, but you can see them here. I'm probably you know how much how big of a Litten fan I am uh, I'm probably gonna go rally it on the Ultra Sun Ultra Moon playthrough that we do on the channel um, Just because I, I do like the Sijuai. He's gonna be coming to Pokken I'm gonna be using him in Pokken not as my main so if you're a Pokken player shout out to Pokken by the way at Worlds uh, I wish I was there. I wish I was there. I wish I was there, but I'm not uh, so anyway, I'm probably going to be going with Rowlet for our channel playthrough, and I'll probably play through the other one off screen. Actually, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, so I'm not even going to talk about it. But uh, but anyway, that's that. Nothing too special there. Hopefully, the cutscene to getting the starters is shorter, so that you can shiny hunt for a starter um, easier. And we might actually try that now that I'm thinking about it. But uh, let's go ahead and move on. The next one is probably the biggest thing that we saw and something that a lot of people aren't so sure what's going on. And it's this right here. Now, if you see the trailer, you see the trainer running around this Rowlet. He's not exactly running around the Rowlet. He's running in a circle and Rowlet is following him. Whoa, okay, all right. So we've wanted this for since Heart Gold, Soul Silver. We've wanted this feature back. And it looks like it could be. I saw some people that were skeptical about this saying, well, it's a closed area. Here are my thoughts. What if, you know, this is a route. Uh, I think that says Route 01. I think that says 01. I saw some people saying, well, the area is closed. Well, if you remember the initial game, this is there. This little barrier. Hold on. Make my mouse do that again. Anyway, it's, it's there. That barrier is there um, in, the, uh, in the normal game. So what if... Uh, and you know they're saying and i'll show you a screenshot in a little bit where they're running through the town and there's no pokemon behind them well that kind of makes sense what if you can only what if your pokemon comes back into its pokeball when you're inside a city but when you're on the route the pokemon is behind you now it did show a rock rough which is kind of a super common and a, a very a very common and very small pokemon so it's possible that it could be limited to just certain Pokemon. It could be that this is just a, a rock rough that, did I say Rowlet? It could just be that this is a rock rough that you interact with uh, in the overworld. I don't know, but it's enough that it got me excited. And if you watch it, the rock rough is following everything that you do. So I'm more leaning towards there's going to be routes that your Pokemon can follow you. I hope that it's more than that. I hope that it's a, a normal thing. You know, I hope that my Decidueye can fly behind me. Uh, I hope that. 
you know, my Sneasel can sneeze behind me. I, I don't know why I said that, but uh, it's too early for these morning videos. But, uh, uh, but yeah, those, so those are my thoughts on those. I think that's a pretty big deal. Make sure you let me know uh, what you think about this specifically in the comments below. I want to know your thoughts on it. Moving on, we had some characters shown. Uh, I meant to get her name. Hold on one second. Let me let me search for this. Sun and 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 moon m m m moon elite four. Uh, I forget her name because she's so irrelevant in the in the first game. So her name is Kahili. Okay, that's what I thought her name was. I just didn't want to be wrong. So um, Kahili is making an appearance. Um, she's going for a Z move here. So I'm hoping that she gets some backstory. Now, why do I think she gets some backstory? How come seeing a Z move makes me think she gets a backstory? Well, one, I don't think this is in her Elite Four place. I think this is somewhere like maybe the Vast, the the, the Pony Canyon or Vast Pony Canyon. I don't exactly remember what it's called, but uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking it was. And then, of course, we see Ryuki. Ryuki. Now, Ryuki was shown, I think he was only shown in the Battle Tree. I could be wrong about that. I apologize if I'm wrong about that. Uh, but... He's, he is here. Now, I think there's a little more than just Ryuki to look in this. And I think a couple people on Twitter were talking about this as well. These cans that are sitting here. Well, this looks a lot like, uh, a lot like Lieutenant Surge's gym, right? So a couple things. One, maybe we go back to Kanto. I don't know. The other possibility is that there are some gym-like structures. There was one, in sp one specifically we'll look at in a minute. Um, where the little free lots of land are built up now. Uh, and this could be one of those just in Alola. And it could just be styled after Surge. So, um, Ryuki, hold on. I'm going to take another second. I know this isn't the most professional, but I really wanted to get this video up quickly. Uh, so let me look. Ryuki. He has, okay, that's what I thought. So he has dragon type. Wait, what? Anyway, uh, he is dragon type. So um, I'm not totally sure what that tells me. But uh, but yeah, so that's that. We do see Ryuki. He is going to have some bit of a story, uh, which is very exciting. They seem to be elaborating and going into details on things that they skipped over in the first game. Uh, and then the last thing that they showed is an Aether Paradise screenshot uh, where this Vulpix is on the table. Maybe that's our, you know, the, you, could, you would assume it maybe is the trainer's Vulpix. Um, so, you know, just more overworld Pokemon, which I think is super, super cool. We have the technology. It's 2017. Let's get these Pokemon out there. All right. Last character that we saw was the Necrozma. Uh, and we saw him in the, um, the, the, the altars, right? So he's here and that just, there's so much, um, that you could say about this, but he's going to have some type of interaction with Lunala and Solgaleo. We already know that. So we'll see what kind of what what happens at this point in the game. Uh, I hope it's pretty exciting. I hope that our character standing in this intense this intense stance has an intense face and not just because he doesn't need to be cheesing all the time. You don't have to cheese all the time. It's okay to be upset. Now, going off of this segue in here, you can see in the bottom here he's wearing a black uh, Z ring. So the very next screen shows us the new Z ring. And it says that the Z-Ring has more powers for new Z moves. I think that's exactly what it reads at the time, at least for what I know. Now, you can see on here that there's places for additional Z-Rings. I think I probably said Mega something something many times. But you can see there's additional places for more little Z-Crystals. Um, and then if you look here, this is the toy that's going to be coming out with it. And you can see exactly what we just saw, more Z-Crystals. But there is this new type of Z crystal. So is that like a specific Z crystal? Is that like the Pikachu EMZ or whatever it's called? Uh, I don't I don't remember exactly what it's called, but you, you know what I'm saying. Um, some people were theorizing that you could use more than one Z move, and I don't know how viable that is. If you think about it, Pokemon is very focused on the VGC format. They do everything pretty much focusing on VGC because that's their big thing. If you had three Z moves that you could use in a VGC battle, that would be super broken. Now that doesn't mean that in game they can do something totally different. I completely get that. But my theory is just that this toy means that you can carry more around. In all of the screenshots like this one, which happened immediately after the first one I showed you, you can see there's only the one Z crystal in there. So maybe it's early in the picture, I don't know, or early in the game, I don't know for sure, but that's kind of my thoughts on it. I doubt you're gonna be able to use more than one Z crystal. There might just be like an ultra Z crystal or something like that that you can use 
Uh, I didn't take screenshots of them, but it did show different people for like Beware. It showed Sandy Gas. It showed an Ice type that I don't remember who it was, but uh, but it showed those guys getting like their own specific Z move. So the Z moves are still here. Didn't so show anything Megas. All right, fine. Alola is the land of the Z. So um, moving on to talking about the region, this is what I was talking about earlier. This is very specifically the uh, Haoli city um, where the Machamps are. And you can see that it's built up. Now you can't really, I, at least I can't really tell what it is. It does look like a very important place. It looks like it looks more important than any building I went into in the actual sun and moon. Um, but actually, hold on. I need to move my camera out of the way for this. So, uh, let me just do that super quick. Uh, but yeah, you can see it, it's a pretty important little building. So maybe this is a gym. Uh, I don't know what this sign is going on about. There is like people in the window. So, or like a, a, a mannequin in the window. Uh, you know, maybe this is just a shop, a glorified shop. I don't really know, but... Uh, it does confirm that these things are built up. Now, I've heard something in the last week about, um, you know, the those plots of land were originally supposed to be built up as gyms for the original Sun and Moon games. And, you know, those are rumors. Uh, I don't know if I believe them, but if they're true, well, they're ready now. So in the Ultra Sun and Moon, uh, Ultra Sun and Moon, um, they are going to be there. So that could be pretty exciting. Now, for the next screen, I'm going to move my webcam back where it was. And this is just another part of Alola. I can't exactly tell where this is. Um, so if you know, let me know in the comments below. But like, this could be on the first island, um, like around the first trial even. Is that the 10, is that 10 karat hill? It might be, which speaking of, that's what we're listening to. We're listening to a nice 10 karat hill for these videos. Um, but I'm not exactly sure where this is. If you look at the Japan trailer, they even zoomed out a little more, giving you a whole another trainer and more area, but I just don't know. This could be on the second island where the grass trial is. This could be on Valley. This could be on the Pony Island. I don't know. Um, if you know, please let me know in the comments below. And I bet once I finish this video, I'll look at the news and there will be even more. But um, then they have, of course, the high quality image of the, the entire region. Now, there's a lot to note here. So if we look over here at the Pony Canyon, or Pony Island, I'm sorry, I keep saying Pony Canyon. If we look over here, we see this big purple cloud, and they stress that. They said purple or you know, dark, dark clouds are appearing above Alola. What could it mean? Well, it's probably something to Krosma, which is great. Because if you if you recall, the only thing you do over here is you travel into the Pony Canyon and you go to the the, the altar up here. And then you fight against, uh, actually down here, you fight against Komo'o, and that's the final trial. And it's kind of really underwhelming for a final island. So I'm hoping that there's more to it. Uh, and I'm sure this has something to do with the Krasma. Actually, you know what? That could very well be over this, and we're just all looking. I, and I'm looking at it wrong. I don't know how other people are looking at it. But um, now, now that I look at it like this, that's probably what it is. And then we have our nice battle tree back there. So um, hopefully it's more than that. Uh, you know, we have our Executor Island over here, uh, Aether Paradise. You look at, this is the, uh, what is this, the second, no wait, what is this? This is the first island, right? Yeah, 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 this is the first island. Uh, this is our home, this is our home right here, Kukui's, Kukui's Place, 10 Carat Hill, etc, etc. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's new here, there's probably like new buildings that have popped up. Um, but just kind of scan it. Yeah, like this one right here. Oh, that's Haoli. So that's that building that we saw before. Uh, but other than that, you don't really see too much there. Coming over to the second island, I think th there's some notable things here. Um, it's the little, well, may, there might be some, some notable things here. This is that one area. No, not too much, really. Again, if you just look at it, and I'm looking at most of this for the first time now. Actually, down here, I don't remember the name of the city, but I'm pretty sure that building is new. Hopefully all the gyms aren't styled the same. I'm kind of looking at them and it almost looks like they are, but hopefully that's not the case. Uh, but one thing that caught my eye is what in the world is this island over here? This little this little thing right here. This is um, near where you head up to the, um, the, the volcano. I am drawing blanks on names, man. Anyway, 
Um, so like this is that one route where you can you can uh, I remember riding Sharpedo around in this water a lot But I don't remember ever going off this way and some people are like oh, well, it's just a minor island Hey, you like that island could potentially have a new legendary Pokemon. I don't know Is there a, a different legendary Pokemon? Well, we're gonna talk about that on the very next screen So uh, but that I, I'm interested to see what this is I and mean, maybe it's nothing I don't know and you look at the third island when I was looking through this I didn't really see anything new I don't remember if you could access this building. You can barely see it behind my webcam, but I don't remember if you could access this building here. Um, but maybe you'll be able to now. Um, it's a power plant. We got the Pokemon League, which is probably going to be built up um, per to normal um, to what we expect. Again, nothing, nothing that I'm seeing that's any that's super special. There's a little platform down here. I don't know what that's for, but. Um, this will probably be built up. I would imagine that's going to be built up. It's kind of, I guess they wanted to not show everything because that's definitely one of those plots of land that they said was uh, was vacant. So um, maybe not everything's built up yet or they just didn't want to show it to it. Um, so that is everything. And then my optimistic mind and wanting more game that it looks at this cloud and the way it's placed on the map and says, well, maybe there's something behind here and you can like almost maybe see something there. That's probably just... Let's ignore that. Uh, okay, so that's the Alola region. I think there, I think there's potential for some new stuff. I'm trying to get it all on the screen again. Uh, potential for a lot of new stuff. So we'll see what happens with that. So to close, we see the box art for Ultra Sun. And when you look at this, you might just look at it and go, oh cool, Sogaleo with Necrozma armor. And then your eye is drawn to this. What the heck is this? Why is there an eye here? Oh, that's nothing you say? Well, let's look at the one for Moon. Why is the eye here? Oh, well, that's just a design thing. Okay, let's look at our final screen. What the heck is this? You see this? Do you see this right here? Mouse, shake. I need you to shake. Thank you. Nope, mouse, shake. All right, there it is, right there. What is that? I have no idea. Here are my thoughts. Necrozma is like the darkness Pokemon. He's all about dark, et cetera, et cetera. What if that is the opposite? And that's the, you know, the Pokemon or the, the legendary Pokemon that we combat Necrozma with. I don't know, but it's something that's not just there for no reason. That, that That's there for some reason. So again, let me know what you think about all this stuff in the comments below. Um, when I end this video, I'm probably gonna see some new news uh, and I'll, I'll be sure to add that on to the end of the video, but maybe not. Maybe this is all that they're going to give us. I know that the um, I know that opening ceremony is going to happen and they might be releasing some new stuff. So I, I don't know if they will. If they do, we'll be back with another video. Um, so today there's potential for four videos on the channel, but that's okay. Uh, I do hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, this is kind of all, all my thoughts. Uh, as you saw, I was going through a lot of this for the first time because I wanted to get it together. I wanted to get it up quickly. Um, but I think there's a lot of good stuff in here and I'm super excited for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon coming out on November 17th of this year. It's going to be a great day. I've got to take that weekend off of work. Uh, but anyway, that's a whole nother story and I'll deal with that another time. But uh, we will see you for the next Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news update, which could be later today. It could be next week. I think we're going to start getting a lot more news soon. So we will see you then. But until then, have a blessed day.